Steve Derrick. Well, new at five, take a ride down a waterway that may as well be made of gold for the city of Houston. The ship channel is constantly being expanded to make way for ships loaded with goods that help to keep our city's economy booming. Eyewitness News reporter Tom Abrams has more on the future of the ship channel. There are a lot of signs that Houston's economy keeps improving, outpacing the rest of the nation in a lot of respects. But some of those signs you might not have thought of. They float every day up and down the Houston Ship Channel. About ready to go. Before the sun comes up, Houston is in business. On board an oil tanker, we saw firsthand how traffic and product and money steer into and out of Southeast Texas. The world for the Houston economy. Every one of these vessels, regardless of what they carry, is guided by a pilot, someone who knows the narrow or shallow curves of the ship channel. And they know the ebbs and flows of Houston's economic growth. So we move more traffic in and out of Houston than anywhere else in the, in the country. According to a 2012 report, ship channel traffic accounts for more than 1 million Texas jobs and generates more than $178 billion in impact on the state's economy. Much of that from a healthy petrochemical industry. When the market's up, the, you know, the ship traffic's up. <laughs> when it's down, we're down. Houston Pilots is chef. Jeff Mays is a dispatcher for the Houston Pilots Association. He manages the traffic on the channel and says it's an unsung hero in Houston's financial engine. You don't think about when, you know, what goes on in the Houston ship channel. You, you think, okay, ship's coming in and out, but you don't realize what all goes into that. And that economic impact could get exponentially bigger in the next couple of years because of a large engineering project happening in Central America. I'll tell you more about that coming up on Eyewitness News at 6. Reporting from Deer Park, Tom Abrams, 13 Eyewitness News. Anxious to hear about that. Thank yeah. you, Tom. All right. Well, you thought the last Powerball jackpot was high. That was at 360.